Welcome back. It's still the breakfast of Plus TV Africa. The term copyright is a legal one used to describe the rights that creators have over their literary and artistic work. Um, work covered by copyright ranges from books, you know, to music, paintings, sculpture, and films, to computer programs, databases, advertisements like what you see on Plus TV Africa maps and technical drawings yeah it is the exclusive and ex assignable legal right given to the originator for a fixed number of years to print publish perform film or record literary artistic or musical material now the internet you know it said that it has allowed consumers across the world across the globe to access information easily and with fewer boundaries yet this same tool the internet has allowed consumers to access and even reproduce works without adhering to copyright requirements i mean because the music downloads and all that you can just get it off some sites without paying anything how are copyright laws in nigeria dealing with this global problem how is a nigerian law protected copyright owners now the director general of the nigerian communications oh, sorry copyrights commission <laughs> ncc dr john assain has recently said quote the creative sector is the next oil well for the country and may in fact be the only oil well that will never be exhausted in the nearest future as long as humans remain on earth now for that reason he believes nigeria must design its own model to fit its peculiarities in the creative sector. I said this as a re at a recent uh, meeting between select stakeholders in the broadcast media, hotel, creative, and legal sectors in Lagos, Nigeria, and the Nigerian Co Copyright Commission, the Audiovisual Rights Society of Nigeria, the Musical Copyright Society of Nigeria, and the Reproduction Rights Society of Nigeria, uh, the nation's copyright collective management organizations for audiovisual, uh, musical, and literary work. Um, he asked earlier, or asked earlier how, we asked earlier rather, how Nigeria's copyright regulations are dealing with the global problems affecting uh, the creative sector. I'm glad to say joining us for a conversation on this very important subject, Manoa Kikeko. He's a journalist. He joins us via Zoom from Badagri in Lagos State, Nigeria. Manoa Kikeko, good morning to you. Good morning, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, do you agree with the NCC, the Nigeria Copyright Commission's DG, that uh, the creative sector is the nation's next oil well? Uh, of course. Uh, when I saw the quote, I was very, very happy because uh, from what we've been seeing, and uh, the analogy to me is very, very nice word. You know, when you talk about a uh, situation where the um, intellectual properties and the people that are creating it are not well um, recognized or being paid in terms of their contribution to knowledge. You no, know, it can simply be as uh, referred to like when oil company takes our oil and they don't pay for it. It can simply be seen as oil tech. So today now we have seen how in Nigeria how the um, uh, intellectual property are no well uh, referenced in terms of uh, some writings and all in, uh, in terms of um, other musics and movies where they are not um, uh, the consent of the um, providers, the first creator is not being recognized. So in terms of the um, knowledge, being, uh, this um, sector being uh, an oil well, because we can see today, um, Nigeria is most especially we are um, going places in terms of our uh, knowledge contribu uh, contribution in terms of entertainment industry. Uh, this uh, industry has been um, building the image of Nigeria in terms of uh, technologies. Um, sorry, in terms of um, writings and movies, Nigerians, Nigeria in, uh, industries are, are, are going places. And um, today, we can say um, in short time, it's going to be a very, very uh, important source of income for, uh, for Nigeria. Apart from that, boosting the image of Nigeria, so which can be said to be economically viable in the uh, nearest future. 
So that's why I can I have seen this uh, the um, Dr. John uh, has seen um, analogies are very very uh, very very good in, in terms of um, uh, knowledge uh, intellectual property. All right. So, um, but, but do you think that we're doing enough, you know, uh, at, you have stakeholders now, and it's a good thing that, you know, that meeting actually happened. Uh, do, do you think that, you know, in Nigeria, we're doing enough to protect intellectual property? Um, in terms of that, it, it, it's, it's very people we are, we are not doing enough in so that's why I am very, very happy in terms of the bill that was just passed in the 6th of April 2023, which is the new copyright act 2022, which uh, was um, majorly with uh, four cardinal points to improve, to strengthen the um, right of the uh, providers and all other things that will improve um, give the um, contribution of these properties the right and they give them the strength to fight for their right and to protect their property. In terms of, um, um, of, of, of this, Nigeria, I think we should, the government, the government should do more in enforcing um, this act because today we can see a lot of uh, music that are being pirated, a lot of books without the consent of the, the, and the government is not doing enough to uh, penalize those people that are doing that. From, uh, from the meeting too, I, I saw a point that was uh, made by Chief uh, Samuel o o Alabi in the where he said the, uh, the major factor that should be also be addressed is um, sensitizing the provider, the owners of this knowledge and the users on the importance of on their rights, because that's another thing that is uh, affecting the sector. Some people who are providing this knowledge, they don't really know what their right is. Even if um, these uh, pirates, uh, those who are pirating these ideas, are, they, they know uh, that their works are being used illegally, but they don't know how to the institutions to visit in, in terms of um, uh, demanding for their rights. And this meeting that was held lately is a, is a good idea, but on my own part, I, I don't think uh, it should be a meeting that will be held once in a while. It should be a, a meeting where uh, stakeholders will come, bring up their challenge that they've been facing in terms of providing intellectual properties. And at the same time, they should um, bring up mechanisms that will uh, try to listen to the, the um, views of the users of this um, uh, 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 this product. Um, Marwa, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, uh, subject and some points you raised. I'm happy you talked about the new uh, copyright law in Nigeria and uh, you're expressing indeed, you know, you know, optimism that this law will, uh, will signals a new day for copyright owners in the country. But you've also talked about implementation. That's very interesting uh, that you're saying, you know what, apart from having laws, there must be enforcement. Then just put the laws on paper and go to bed and show that the laws are adhered to. In terms of enforcement, um, I mean, I'm sure you remember some years ago, maybe about a decade or so, over a decade ago, I mean, on national television, we had pictures uh, and videos of um, uh, officials from the NCC, the MCSN, um, uh, the music, Musical Copyright Society of Nigeria going to Alaba International Market to go to shops and stores where you had a fake CDs, you know, or musical CDs uh, to confiscate and destroy them. I'm sure you remember that. Uh, this is 2022. Times have changed. Artists no longer print as many CDs. I don't even bother about that. <laughs> as much as they used to back in the day, it's more digital now. You can stream, you can download. Those are how people, that's how a lot of people consume their music uh, these days. Um, what do you think this change in the consumption pattern, uh, the, 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 uh, the power of the internet, the opportunities the internet presents for music streaming, music downloads, 
Uh, do you think this has presented new challenges? Because we mentioned that in our intro, that the internet has presented new challenges. And how can these challenges be overcome in terms of uh, the law? Do you think the law covers it adequately? And also implementation, because it's no longer going to Alaba to burn CDs. This time it's a different ball game altogether. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a serious challenge. It's a serious challenge in terms of uh, enforcing the law in the, because of the technology that is in the system now. But we can always see it too in uh, uh, what happened. I don't know if you are aware of what happened in the how uh, uh, Taiwan intend to enforce uh, um, uh, people that are trying to boycott the means of paying before they get uh, a view. There's a uh, uh, the uh, onboard where people use uh, is a is a channel that is being used where people boycott the um, official uh, the uh, well known uh, channels that they use which they pay for and. Uh, Fortunately, the government was able to come with come up with a, a mechanisms that will, was able to checkmate this uh, this type of system in the sense that uh, they they were able to um, you know uh, give uh, bring up um, softwares that will control the providers of this um, information in terms of when you talk about uh, sites or um, uh, some channels that would provide this information to the people in the sense that they can... Uh, it, it's looking at the development we've had, had in IC, uh, IT, IT sector now, I think the, uh, the government, if they want to enforce this, um, uh, this law, this, uh, this act, there should be a, a drastic improvement in terms of our IT sector, whereby the... They, they, they can uh, optimize the sites that are providing this information to the sense whereby the people that are going to download the music or the video or the movie, we, have, we don't have option than to pay. In terms of on my own view, I think this, is, um, this will be even to some extent be easier to address than uh, the previous one where they would just go and burn it on steady and but by now, when you in the city, now what I'm trying to say is that when you are trying to access a, access a website to download the music, music they, they, are, they can always uh, protect it in the sense that if you if you have not paid, you can't have access to it. That's the that's one aspect I think the government have to um, do as much in terms of uh, liaising with the. Uh, uh, with the uh, internet uh, sector, uh, the site providing this information, and the NCC coming up with um, a possibly a, a, a branch of the, in the sector that will be monitoring uh, specifically on how uh, these uh, uh, people will be downloading this um, uh, intellectual properties, and they will be and they, and, and, and and the government will. We'll get the right the, the what they need. All right. Um, so you, you have mentioned that it's important that the government steps in, you know, to ensure that uh, people are doing the right thing. There should be some collaboration, level of collaboration with the government and, you know, the relevant stakeholders to protect create the creative sector, especially uh, those who have intellectual property. But do you think that information and the people know the need or the importance of not uh breaching you know the law i mean they understand what theft of intellectual property is because i know for for instance as 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 much as the software that we use the software that we use on our computers or laptop whatever it is that you call it some of them are pirated. We don't pay for it. So uh, don't you think that we need a, a different culture? Because it, it might just be a cultural thing where we're used to getting things for free. People are not really used to paying for things. You know, you, you, you just get it. You find a way to get it. To get an original software of, uh, you know, the things that you need on your computer installed, we just have it differently. So, so, so don't you think that um, it's a cultural thing and 
do we have enough information? So, so Messi, you talking about it's a very important <laughs> way, you raise. You know, talking about, uh, uh, for instance, operating system. Right. You know, you, to get operating system, uh, how many people even uh, Manoa? I, I don't know if you have. <laughs> if you Manoa, do you have an original operating system on your laptop? Or do you Messi, have an original uh, Microsoft Word? Uh, uh, no, let's not, let's not mention names. Messi, okay. do, you, do you have? I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Don't ask do me. I'm asking you. Brains? People go for crack. <laughs> Manoa, you know crack now. Yeah. You know crack. When he even said, uh, when, course, when he, course, uh, uh, when he said to you know burning the city, I said this guy, this guy <laughs> is a suspect, <laughs> you know. So if you know crack, it means you're a suspect, <laughs> you know. So th I think that's what basically is talking. A very interesting thing, you know. Yeah. So so so, do you think that you know the issue that we're faced with right now is that the people understand? Do do we have enough information? And do you also think that it's also a cultural thing because? We in this climb, we're used to getting, we don't pay for things, even as shows. There are, there are some part of the country where, in Nigeria, to speak, people are not interested in you say you have a show, you have to pay, you have to pay tickets, you know, to get to a show. It's not, you know, common, it's not part of our culture. We're used to just going to things and get things free. So I'd like to share your thoughts based on this premise. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, just like the fact that. Uh, we are getting used to the wrong thing and it, it is becoming a culture. And at the same time, if the, if the um, government can... If, what I'm trying to say is that it's not, I, I don't believe something that can just happen uh, immediately or a drastic move that will change everything immediately. It's, I think it's, it's going to be a gradual thing. But we, we can't take the wrong thing. It's becoming, I think it's becoming the norm in the society and it's becoming a culture. And it's wrong. Uh, they, when the right thing is coming up, the government is trying to implement it. At one point or the other, the people will have to adapt to it, and it will also become a culture. So, the, so my question is, do the people know that it's wrong for you to just download movies where you didn't pay for? You just go to a site, and you're getting movies, and you're downloading music without paying for it. Do people know these things? That's the question. Do people know that it is wrong to get... Uh, do, you, do people... Do Nigerians really know that it's wrong for you, uh, you know, to get crack versions of, you know, this operating system and softwares that they use on their computers? Hey, exactly. That's what. Uh, that's when what uh, uh, Chief Samuel uh, Oalabi said will come in at the meeting. He was saying that there is need to enlighten the people, even the providers and the users of the um, this intellectual property, to enlighten them on the right, on their right. He, and uh, at the same time, you enlighten the users on the the wrong aspect, how they've been using it wrongly. In, in, on, in, in response to your question, some people don't know that they are doing the right thing, but some people know they are doing the wrong thing. But since that uh, is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a shortcut, people today, you know, people prefer the shortcut and who don't, they, where they wouldn't have to pay all these things. Some people know they are doing the wrong thing, but they, they have seen it as a means to. But meanwhile, some people don't know. So that's the, where the need to enlighten the people. And in, in a situation whereby the people, to some extent, the enlightenment has gone viral. If somebody is eventually caught in the act, you, you won't have an excuse to say, yeah, I'm not aware of all these things. You know, that's, so, so that's it. Uh, do, you, do you think that this, because uh, you talked about um, uh, you know, enforcement, um, it can be totally eradicated? Because Messi is talking about awareness. Um, and she's also talking about culture. You know, we have a culture of not paying for these things in this part of the world. Um, and indeed, it's a global phenomenon. It's not just limited to Nigeria. It's all over the world. You know, I remember the days when you had um, Pirate Bay. You know, where you could go to Pirate Bay. It was a global phenomenon. It wasn't even a big thing in Nigeria, but it's a big thing all over the world. We could go to Pirate Bay and get, uh, 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 you know, anything we wanted to download, whether it was series, books, whatever, you know, for free. Um, there's another gentleman who was, um, was based, I think, in New Zealand. The, the uh, authorities, they had to go and arrest him with a helicopter. He made so much money, you know, from having something like that, a website, a pirate website, where he could download anything. It was an issue. So is it something that can be eradicated, seeing the global scale of it? With the um, uh, with the introduction of the internet and you know how fast the internet is growing, 
internet access from, from the comfort of your home with a mobile phone now, uh, 5G is coming. Can it be totally eradicated? You know, even if you, you enlighten people from now till kingdom come, you know, will it be people who have access to these things, you know, FZs, movies, dead, and all these sites where you can go download uh, the series. Yeah, how do you know that? Mercy is, la Mercy is laughing. <laughs> I'm just I did, my, I did my research before coming, but I don't know why you're laughing. It's I'm, just, I'm just amazed. So it, it, can it be totally eradicated? In, in, truthfully, can it be? Uh, really? I don't know. What I'm, uh, I, can, it can, I don't think it can be truly, uh, totally eradicated. Because what you, what, the reason is, you, you know technology is evolving every now and then. You know, when you try to block one means, you, before you know, some people will look for a loophole so that they will get something out free at one point or the other. But what I'm just trying to say, it can be minimized and in a in, in couple of times, because even if it's going to be uh, checked, it's not going to happen, as I said earlier, it's not going to happen immediately as they go. It's going to be a gradual process and a consistent something. All right. Uh, are, are there creative That's ways? It. Yeah. You know, since this is a, this is a, a very, very tall, tall order, it's a battle that cannot be won in, in its entirety. Are there creative ways that are, are being employed around the world that, um, you know, uh, can be employed in Nigeria to at least get the copyright infringements reduced to a reasonable extent, you know, to a reasonable extent? Yeah, as you have, as as I said earlier, from the uh, analogy of the Taiwan I made, I made, it can be seen around the world that the Nigeria is not only Nigeria that is facing this uh, challenge. It's all is is happening around the world, and uh, these uh, countries we are looking at have been trying as much as they can to minimize it, and at the same time, none of them has been able to totally eradicate it. It's just majorly they are trying as much as they can to reduce it and to um, make sure the providers of the intellectual properties are getting their right. So what, I'm, uh, what we have seen so far now is that the government have to improve on the, uh, in the sectors or in the, at the same time in enforcing this uh, law. Because in the situation by, by the several people have been, um, um, you know, flouting the law, going against doing uh, a lot of things that um, is, is not proper in terms of the way they use intellectual property, and they go away with it. You know, uh, people will feel like since uh, people have been doing it and nothing is happening, definitely they can do it and nothing will happen. But in a situation whereby they have, there have been examples where people had been uh, um, uh, penalized and they are, it, it's been um, broadcasted, people saw it like that this is his offense and he has been sentenced for so, so years for the purpose or charged so amount of money. You know, these are the one more thing about Nigeria is that uh, if uh, before uh, people can really comply to a particular um, rule or regulation, some people must have been used, for example, and people will say, like, ah, seriously, this, uh, these people are really, they really mean business. So those are the uh, things, basically, that can curb it to right. some extent. All right. Um, that, I would like to thank you very much for your time. Uh, Manoa Kikekon, who's a journalist, uh, joining us on this discussion on the breakfast uh, this morning. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, we have you. to move on. Uh, Mercy, we have more conversations ahead this morning. All right, stay with us. When we return, uh, we'll be looking at, you know, the issue of 2023 elections and all of the energy that we've been experiencing. Stay with us.